Hi right, guys, before this video starts, just want to give a quick shout out to my uh, local hobby store, Test Valley Models. Um, they stock loads of bolt action stuff at 15% off. They've just started their website up, um, so I just thought I'd give them a quick shout out because that's where I'm getting my models from now on. Um, I'm not being paid to say this, there'll be a link in the description below. So enjoy guys. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but enjoy the video. Hi hey guys, this is Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors and uh, today we're going to be looking at another bolt action contrast painting tutorial. Um, First of all, it's Luftwaffe from Germany from 1941 to 45, so they're like the blue uniforms. Um, not many colours to use for this, um, we've got five colours in front of me. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on. Um, so the first thing we're going to tackle is mostly the whole uniform, which is like a bluey grey. So um, what I've done to get this colour up is you could, I've used Space Wolves Grey and Ultramarines Blue and combined them. So I've used two parts Space Wolves Grey. To one part ultramarines blue so I've just mixed that up already so and then we'll put it on here so it looks quite blue for the you know for the, for the straight off the bat but when it dries it gets more of a grey tinge to it so just gonna put this in here and again as always I'm using the painting handle <laughs> Oh, I love this paint and handle, not in the slightest. I definitely work a lot quicker without this paint and handle. But for you guys, as I've always said, I will uh, sacrifice to bring you the tutorials. So yeah, um, how this little project's going along, um, all these different bolt action tutorials for the channel, it's going all right. I just need to get some more models, like different types, like Germans, uh, paratroopers and stuff like that. Especially if you guys want me to do like um, literally every army, just need one of every model. So eBay is eBay is looking rather testy at the minute. That's the pants, and most of the um, most of the, the top, the, you know, his, his, his jacket and shirt and all that are the same colour, apart from the webbing, which is like which is black. So we'll be going black Templar with that. So I'm just trying to stay a bit neat around there. his hands around his belt and all that jazz. Um, actually just getting it into the recesses. This is a metal miniature as well and the uh, 88 gun so let's see what about that looks like. So we're up to like there at the minute. Just a bit more in this front there. Start tackling his sleeves. His arms. Just making sure to uh, try not to spill over. This is like I said, this is a metal miniature. I don't normally enjoy using metal because I find it ships easy. I will be varnishing this model after as well. So I do I do prefer plastic for that side of things for wargaming. But you can understand why companies have uh, got to um, do things in metal because it works out a lot cheaper. Do you imagine Warlord are not selling as many of these as they are say just normal Germans, German hairs? Um, 
are doing all right. We are doing all right. Not made any catastrophic mistakes so far. <laughs> he says. It's quite good because the videos, the videos are becoming seem quite popular, which is nice. Glad people are enjoying them. It's all there for a bit of education, you know. Everyone can paint in their own way. Um, this is just another technique to add to that arsenal. Get that in there. Sorry about that, lost a bit off the, uh, just a little bit off the camera. Just there. You can see already where that's starting to dry. above his collar there. Yeah, so there is, um, I don't know what you call those bits on the side, but normally where you put your insignia for your rank, they're red. So I'll be painting them red in a minute. I'm just trying to get this main base layer of blue down. Once this is done, you can go in and neaten up obviously with the um, with the wraith bone which I've primed with. Which is not much of a drama. Okay, there's that. And I think just this cap to go now. Just for ease. Now he's got his um, German Eagle on his cap. But I will paint that in blue just for the minute, and I'll come back in with um, with grey in a minute. I'll put some um, wraith bone on it, and then repaint over it in the grey. Because painting like this, I can't get as close to the model as I like to. Um, right, so there's that. Looks like all the blue's been sorted. Okay, next colour is... Let's go for... A silicon grey. These are the bits above his, um, his, his boots, so he's got small boots, so he's got like um, small shoes on this model. So we've got uh, the proper like uh, boots that go up to like above their ankles, so you just paint it all the way black. But this model's a bit different. He's got uh, some wraps around this thing, and these are like a grey colour, so I'm just going to paint that now. Like I've always said with the contrast paint, it's not how it goes on, it's um, what it looks like once it's dry. And um, just making sure we get rid of that. I know the Black Templar will um, cover this up pretty nicely. 
over spill here, the grey onto the boots is not that much of a drama. So that's that grey apart from that front bit there. And I'll stick a little bit on the webbing bits there. Sorry about that, you missed about a minute's worth of footage. Um, it's a bloody phone. I will sort it out at some point. But all I've done is I put the black Templar on the boots here. And I've started doing the webbing um, in Black Templar as well, so let's crack on with that. Straight across his belt buckle there. So that there is all the Black Templar. So any sort of mess ups, it's not really much of a drama, because like I say, I've just got to do with the uh, roof bone and um, sort it out like that. And um, next color is going to be the flesh. So I'm going to go and get on the flesh. Nice and straightforward for this model, there's not a huge amount of flesh. Obviously his face. And by his ear there. And his neck. Slightly down to the V there in this shirt. Just gonna make sure we get all the fleshy areas. Yeah. So model's really starting to come together now. So we've got two colours ready to go and then just neatening up. So we've got the red um, and then his hair colour, whichever colour I want to do that in. I could, I could do black, but we'll, get, we'll, we'll make him blonde. Right. Change it up a little bit. So, next colour is the red. Pretty good shape. This is uh, Blood Angel's red. I use Ginnaman Flash, by the way, for, um, for the skin. It becomes interesting. So red, and this lapel thing. I think you can call it. I don't, I don't know. Red there. So there's two bits of red, and I'm pretty sure. So this covers. No, it don't cover very well. So what I'll do is I'll go back in with Wraith Bone in a minute. And um, yeah, he should have two little red smidgens on either side here, on either either bit. So I'll do those in a minute off camera. Um, I'll just finish, but I'm, all I'm going to do is when I do my neatening up process for the wraith bone. So there's the red, and let's go to skeleton horde for his hair. Not a huge amount of hair on this model, so just around the back. It's just 
just around here. Literally, and when that dries, it'll look pretty good. Um, so yeah, give me two minutes. I'll be seconds for you, but give me two minutes, and I'll let this dry, and um, we'll come back and uh, I'll show you what I've done with the red bits. I'll just do it once it's fully done, neatened up. Right. Here I am back, and um, yeah, I've just done the little bit of neatening up, so you can see on his uh, shoulders there, he's got his red bit now. So happy days with that. Um, and I've done the hat, he's just uh, literally just went over a little bit of wraith bone and um, a tiny bit of the uh, Ash and Grey stuff. Um, not Ash and Grey, what's it called? Um, the silicone grey over the wraith bone. It's just a tiny bit of blue, just needed on his uh, uniform here. There we go. And that's it. So that there is the um, German Luftwaffe uh, 41 to 45 uniform um, for the uh, A8mm gun. You can use this technique to do other Luftwaffe uniforms. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, hope you're enjoying these tutorials. I'm going to uh, obviously be doing some more. Um, I'm going to try, like I said in the previous video, I'm going to try and do all the armies which is a mammoth task because I just need one model from each of them <laughs> so if you know anyone who's got single models that's willing to sell let me know in the comments below and um, yeah see you again soon